So the way you frame women in social roles in terms of Varnashram is quite striking. So I'll just quickly paraphrase my understanding what I had, and then maybe you can elaborate on this. So quite often, on one side, uh, sometimes some people uh, that, that some people perceive that if there is a Varnashram structure, there would be no role for women, or women would simply be rele relegated to the role of homemakers. And some people resent that. Some people insist that, and that leads to polarization. But what you ex explained, right? If Varana is concerned more with, say, uh, professional or occupational role, and Ashram is concerned more with like family responsibilities, or the particular then, then in the past, both were integrated naturally, and that's why women could contribute in the family as well as in the, as well as in a professional occupational role. But the industrial revolution sort of made it difficult to do both together. So can you elaborate, if my understanding is right, and if you can elaborate on it, if it is? You have already summarized the whole podcast. Now nothing for me to say. <laughs> no, no, no. I just <laughs> thought I should talk, I, I, because we have discussed this earlier, but it was a very, the first time you mentioned it, there are some things which we hear, and then we need understanding to, uh, to actually, we need a further discussion to understand it. But there are some things which uh -huh. we hear for the first time, and they strike us as so intuitively true, we would like to know more about it, but just that insight is so intuitively striking. So in that sense, it struck me. That's why I started by paraphrasing it. So, but you can please elaborate on it. 